name is Krishan and I welcome you to my channel, A Lifetime Gift. If this is your first time here, I welcome you. I am a wife, a mom of three boys, currently expecting baby number four, and I'm an internationally board certified lactation consultant here on my channel. I read children's books about God, children's books about breastfeeding, and some of our family favorites. As I mentioned in my last video, I would be sharing some more of Sandra Boynton's books. And I wanted to keep it going as far as another book that can be hopefully helpful with getting your kiddos down for bed. This book that I'm sharing is Pajama Time. And once again, it's written by Sandra Boynton, meaning that's a silly book. It's a board book. So it is, once again, short and sweet, which I like. So let's jump right in. Pajama Time by Sandra Boynton. The moon is up, it's getting late. Let's get ready to celebrate. It's pajama time. Pull on the bottoms, put on the top. Get yourself set to pajama de bop. It's pajama time. Now some are old and some are new. Some are red and some are blue. Some are fuzzy, some are not. But we can all pajammy in whatever we got. It's pajama time. Oh yes, it's pajama time. Some are pink and some are green. Some are the ugliest you've ever seen. They might be stripy or polka dot, but we can all pajammy in whatever we got. It's pajama time. Pajammy to the left, pajammy to the right. Jamma, 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 PJ. Everybody's wearing them for dancing tonight. Jamma, 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 PJ. Now all around the room in one big line, wearing our pajamas and looking so fine. It's pajama time. Hop into bed, turn out the light. You can have a party in your dreams tonight. It's pajama time, hush, hush. It's pajama time, hush, hush. It's pajama time, shh. Good night, sleep tight. I hope you enjoyed this story as much as my little ones enjoy this story. And I hope it can be helpful with your routine, with getting your kids down for bed and hopefully excited, getting them ready for bed, getting their pajamas on. Um, I've also shared another one of Sandra Boynton's books, the Going to Bed book, which has also been a helpful book with trying to get the kids down for bed. But I do want to share that I believe it's so important with setting up a schedule. I can truly say that this is something I do struggle with, with getting my kids down, but I do believe having some type of routine can be helpful with kids as far as getting them down for bed. I can say when we do stick to a schedule, one of those things, of course, is reading before bed, but also having time together as a family where we go around and we um, say something that we're thankful for, and we also talk about how we were able to see God in our day, how maybe he was able to um, use us as a blessing or how someone blessed us. And then usually we go around and um, pray for something, someone, whatever, or whomever that God places on our heart to pray for. And so I share that to say, I think it's once again, very important to create routines and schedules to help kids to get ready for bed and including reading books, which hopefully also instills a love of reading and books inside of them, but also spending time together as a family and spending time with God um, as a family and praying to him and acknowledging him and how he showed up throughout your day. And I think it's so important that our children see us not only pray, but also talk about God and how he's showing up in our lives and how he's using us and how he used or uses, excuse me, other people to help us in our walk and help us in our journey to grow closer to him. So 
If you enjoyed this book and think that it may be helpful to you, I encourage you to check out my description box at the bottom where you can find the information to purchase it. I also encourage you to check out the other story by Sandra Boynton that I have shared that is um, also, I think, helpful with getting the kids ready for bed, which is the going to bed book. They're both silly books, short and sweet. And that's one of the things that I like about them. Now, if you want to hear more stories like this, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you.